from welcome back to my channel. I'm Pepper Petra Denise, produced by Zenith Productions. This here is my sweet tea. Just a good tea. Just that we discuss it. Hey, if you're not a part of the Sweetie Fam, go right down there to that red button, click subscribe, click the bell right next to it so you can be notified because I be dropping videos every Tuesday and Thursday at 8 a.m. And um, we're going to do a how to style biker shorts some people call them spandex shorts some people call them um you know just like workout shorts everybody calls them something a little bit different but i think the name on the on the website was they were like biker shorts so we're going to style biker shorts today and these particular biker shirts are from rainbow shorts a biker shorts you will see will be the multicolor or you can call it rainbow and it's kind of in a pinstripe so it's a um i will call it the vertical stripes i guess that's what you want to call it the rainbow colors and after each color there's like a black a little black strip in them and i chose these particular shorts because i wanted to attach i wanted something that was going to give me a challenge and these shorts definitely gave me a challenge it was very difficult to find something to match with it and give it a whole entire look so that's one of the reasons why i chose these shorts the second reason is the multi-color vibe is in and that is for men or for women and i love the aspect of the multi-color vibe now my older daughter her favorite color is rainbow if you ever ask her she's gonna say rainbow so she when she saw them, she was like oh those are so cute i really really love all of the colors so this just in this these particular spandex shorts will be able to go with a lot of things multiple different items but you got to make sure your top will be something a little bit more solid which don't have as much going on as the shorts and so like i said that's the reason why i purchased these particular shorts because they gave me a run for my money i styled this particular look um as the influencer that's the name of this particular look it is the influencer and as you see i have on my brand which is forever page denise with my with the YouTube symbol, symbol because I'm a YouTuber, and then I have on the multicolored uh, vertical stripe um, biker shorts, and then I styled it with some really cute silver accessories, very like calm accessories, nothing too major. Now I did do the double layering on the necklaces, so that's really in right now so you may see that quite a bit for me because i definitely like the variety of having you know the layered necklaces you'll see me with the silver glasses now the glasses is far from the multicolor shorts which both give a little pizzazz and then i am tying the red sweater around my waist to make that red pop because that's one of the colors that i really saw like as soon as i looked at these shorts obviously it's multicolor, so i saw a lot of colors but that's the first color i really saw i said okay i'm gonna use this color and run with it and then i paired them with the ankle boot kulaburu by ugg and these are my favorite boots ever and i know you're like okay why would you pair boots with this outfit so first and foremost if you live in the midwest you never know what the weather is going to be that's the first thing second of all the way i style my clothes i style them to fit the look as best as i can and then i think about the weather now i definitely would not wear the cooler by us if it was 80 degrees outside but um 60 degrees i definitely would wear this look where it's still warm enough for biker shorts which is why you add the sweater to it because you can also throw that on with the biker shorts and then you have the uh suit to keep your feet warm so it's definitely a look it's giving influence it's giving them um showing my brand it's also giving i got a little style biker shorts number two are the royal blue plain biker shorts now this color is so vibrant and so beautiful and that is the reason why i got the royal blue color and actually if i have to choose between royal blue and navy blue i'm definitely gonna pick royal blue because i feel like that color just pops so much more now i would wear this for like a greek gathering and as you see i have 
the the denim top okay which you can wear as a dress or a shirt depending on how you want to wear it and as i told you before the spandex nor spandex normally i said spandex excuse me biker shorts normally go under something so i'm in, i am using the biker shorts as a bottom but I'm, i can also use them as just to go under the dress if i choose but that's completely up to you this look is called greek gathering i would wear this to a greek gathering i am a sorority i am not only one of the members but i am the national president and founder of ata zanu sorority incorporated shout out to all my sororas okay um and i would pair this with my um, lanyard that have my letters on it. I have a button. It wouldn't be too much. It'd be just right. I also would not have any type of purse or anything because me like we're gathering. You're normally up, moving, dancing. You know, you're kicking it with everybody, and that's what I would do with this particular outfit. Now, since this is a Greek gathering, you're normally at a picnic or at a outside function. I'm gonna wear some sneakers, specifically my Indigo Twelves, because the blue matches. Now. My sorority colors are Columbia Blue, Kelly Green, and Violet. So this isn't exactly those colors, but very, very close. So I would wear this and offset, you know, my purple and my blue, as you can see that. And so I'm definitely giving the blue feels in this entire outfit. And I definitely have also the blue tinted frames. And so another option would just have just a darker frame. I could also add a purple undershirt to match with my sorority colors. So on and so forth, I could have added some purple or green socks. I could have added those things to the street alpha to even make it more uh, geared toward, you know, my Greek organization. The next set of biker shirts that you're going to see are the camo and floor print biker shirts. And let me tell you something about these biker shorts. I was like in love when I first saw these biker shorts because floor print is my top favorite um pattern anyway but then camo is definitely starting to rise in some of my you know favorite patterns so to mix those and then for them not to overpower each other i was like i got to have these shorts and so i i love the print i love the print this is probably my favorite print in all the prints that i have and all the the colors that I have in the biker sh in this biker shirt haul. Now I paired these shorts with a plain a navy blue shirt, and that is because the shorts, the biker shorts, speaks for themselves. Okay. Now I'm also going to add a denim jacket, and I wouldn't say a jacket, but it's a denim button up. I'm going to add some really cute sandals and a wristlet because if I'm going to a day party, and that's the name of this outfit. I don't want to have a heavy purse, okay? I still need to have my car just in case I want to have some wine. I want to buy something and grab something to eat. You know, I want to be able to have my cake and eat it too. And so the other options, I could have went went for a slide-in sandal where there would have been nothing around the ankle or the back of the foot just to slide my foot in. That could have been a different option. I also could have put some sneakers with this if I chose to, right? I could have took the denim jacket off. Those are just different options I could have done with this particular outfit. I also could have switched the wristlet for a crossbody bag. So you always want to have those options when you are try choosing your clothes for any event, especially for a day party. You want to have options, okay? Now, the next darker short I chose were uh, solid red. And the reason why I chose solid red is because red bottoms was one color I did not have. And I was just like, okay, I have actually been looking for some. So when I saw these red biker shorts, which will last me through the spring and the summer and some of the fall, depending on the weather, I'm like, this is definitely a win for me. And so I wanted to just go real just... How can I say this? I wanted to go just real, just urban, okay? Now, I'm a very versatile stylist. When I style myself, I'm so versatile. You just never know what I'm going to put together, and it's going to be cute. So, I wanted to go with the vibe of the t-shirt that I'm wearing. And it's pretty much real urban. It's giving real gangster, real OG, real I got these hands and you don't want them. And that's on period. <laughs> and 
I named this outfit TSA. This is something I could throw on and get to the airport. Um, I also chose, the options I chose for shoes were Reeboks. Now, I'm definitely getting back into my Reeboks. I really love Reebok Classics. And so this Reebok Classic style is one of my favorites. And I wanted to do something a little bit different with the shoe. So that's why you see the shoe's a little bit different. But I love the way the shoe is very simple because the shirt speaks for itself. So this is enough for me to still be very cute, get through TSA, get on that airplane, go where I need to go. And when I get off the airplane, check in to wherever I'm going, I can get go straight to the strip, go outside, grab something to eat. I don't have to change my clothes because I'm still really cute, but I'm not too, too cute. Now, I will also pair this with you know gold accessories something simple though i know i said i like the the layering but i'm gonna stick with one chain stick with the gold and i'm just gonna let that pop now if you see on my shirt bugs bunny got the gold necklace and the whole gold gold thing going and that's where i went with this so that's why i call this tsa because this would be a really cute outfit just to get through tsa you know my my shoes are loose enough where I could just pop them off. You know how you gotta go through TSA. So that's why I call this outfit TSA. The next biker shorts is just a plain black biker short. Now I actually have some biker shorts that's already black, but they're for me to work out in. And actually they're a bit thicker than this material. And if I was to put those um, workout sh shorts under a dress or anything, you would be able to see it. It would look all bungee, but not these. These are just the right thickness not too thin and not too thick and it's gonna look good it look will look good under a dress like this so now um that's the reason why i bought the black dress the black biker shorts now with the black biker shorts black biker shorts goes with anything and actually this was the hardest for me to pair with it because i had so many options right black you could choose everything to go with black so i chose the camo as i told you i'm getting into my camo camo green dress and it is a body con dress to an extent okay don't kill me in the comments so i because it does rise i did use the black spangler shorts as just to add a little bit of length and stability to me moving around and things like that. I'm a thicker girl. I'm a curvy girl. So you not only do I want to be supported, I want to make sure I look good. If I bend down, if I, you know, turn to the side, I want to make sure I look good. Now this is called the Perby Picnic. Okay, so I got my cute little slides. Cause normally a picnic, you're not doing a whole bunch of movement. You go, you may hop from table to table, but that's about it. Okay, section to section, that's about it. I'm pairing it with my cute little av aviator glasses, my sweater, just in case the wind gets to blowing, so I can put my sweater on if I choose to. And the options with this particular outfit is I can take the sweater off. I can add some cute little sneakers to go with this outfit you know there's i can add more of a sandal that will be like a thong sandal or a sandal go around your ankle so i could definitely change up the type of accessories i have also i can go from aviated glasses to i can add a, a thicker black frame glasses with a clear lens like you can definitely just really take the accessories you know to the next level or even break it down some if that's what you choose so um, that's why i call this preppy picnic because you know it's just cute enough just to be sitting at the table chit chat you know to be seen but not seen to be heard but not heard y'all feel me <laughs> now the next shorts are pink here's the thing i'm not into pink i don't care for pink i'm not saying i don't like pink but it's just not me. I really don't have that many pink clothes at all. Now, I, I like peach. I like a little bit of orange, but not actual pink. And so one of the main reasons why I chose these pink shorts is because I do not have a lot of pink items in my closet. And I was like, you know what? Let me go ahead and try to, let me just go ahead and give me some pink shorts and you know, see what I can work with them because uh, if I really, really don't like them, they can be house shorts. They can just go up under some dresses, you know, if I'm going to be moving around a lot. So, but I actually really like the pink shorts. 
when they came in. So I am pairing the pink shorts with a floor print crew neck sweater sweatshirt. Y'all see my floor print here again with some um, tie up. Uh, I would say loafers without the fur. So a lot of times those just come with furs, but these are what you would call the Michael Jackson shoe, but you can also call them loafers as well. And I've had, actually had these for years, and they're actually my go-to fly shoe, like when I really want to just step out, because I do not wear heels. Uh, these are my shoes that I would wear, you know, if I'm going to a classy event, specifically like Brunch with the Girls, and that's the name of this outfit. Now, I'm not going to, there's not too many other options I would choose for my crossbody bag. Just gonna be honest with you the color the size you don't need a really big purse this is just enough okay the pink shades when you walking in you don't need frames as in the clear lens I would just take the gla the sunglasses and the reason why I was gonna do the sunglasses is because normally you'll have brunch in the inside but even if you do decide to sit on the terrace sit on the outside you got your sunglasses you can still eat and be stylish all right and so with the the jewelry Jewelry is always optional, right? For me, I gotta have some, at least some earrings on. I have to have some earrings on. And that's on, period, okay? So, with that being said, you can always take off a necklace, add a few necklaces to be layered, but my crew neck sweater, sweatshirt, speaks for itself. So, last but totally not least, I chose yellow or mustard biker shorts and I'm definitely into I'm starting to come become more and more of a fan of yellow I always feel like yellow kind of like shows your skin or whatever the case may be because I have some like some yellow dresses and I'll be hesitant to to wear them but I really love the way these yellow shorts are just vibrant and so I was like okay I don't have any yellow bottoms I actually have some yellow jeans that I've had for years and they are my go-to they make me look cute all in the right places and I still can fit them and they still look good so but I only normally wear them in the fall because in the summertime it'd be so hot so with these yellow shorts I wanted something that was gonna be pop like pop similar to those red uh, biker shorts so these yellow shorts are it's, it's, it's in the top three of my favorite biker shorts of everything that i have here now with those yellow biker shorts i paired this um, for mustang shirt and when i say it is gorgeous definitely gorgeous now if you know to know me is to love me and to love me is to know that my kids are everything to me and so i call this outfit soccer mom as you see i got my cute little um festival blazers and i got these actually from the actual nike store in downtown chicago and i have my um, white neck plaid white and black excuse me white and black plaid button up shirt that i have tied around my waist because sometimes it get a little windy outside when you outside waiting for soccer so uh, both of my daughters are playing soccer okay now i'm going to pair this with some cute sunglasses because soccer's outside and i'm also going to have my cute coach book bag because you know you got to have your waters your band-aid uh your first aid kit you know you got to have a few little snacks you got to have all the little things you need without having a huge bag and so that's another reason why i chose this particular coach bag but if i would have had a black one i would have liked to have a black one possibly to offset the black to kind of wearing a lot of the browns the yellows things like that all right now this outfit would probably have to be in the top three the complete outfit of all of my favorites of everything that i tried on now i am a big fan of rainbow rainbow has been a part of my life and the way i style myself for years and it's a go-to for me and so i was very happy to purchase some things from rainbow and get our hand and style them and look really really good in all of them and as you see in every outfit i give a completely different look you guys are not a part of the sweetie fam go right down there to that red button click sub subscribe click the bell right next to it so you can be notified because i be dropping videos every tuesday and thursday at 8 a.m y'all comment down below on which outfit was the cutest or your top three outfits was it the influencer? Was it Greek gathering? Day party? TSA? Preppy picnic? Brunch with the girls? Or soccer mom? Y'all, I am Emma Petra Denise. 
And y'all be sweet.